Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. Look, it's snowing outside. Pretty exciting because I'm not even outside, so it's snowing on the inside. It's always snowing on the inside. I'm super excited today because today we are talking about one of my favorite Christmas movies. This is, in fact, five facts that you might not know about a Christmas story. Number one. In the film, Ralphie asks three different people for a Red Ryder BB gun. Do you know which three? His mother, his teacher, and Santa Claus. All three of which tell him, Shoot your eye out. You'll shoot your eye out. You'll shoot your eye out. And then also, I guess in his dream, he tells a few people, but those don't count. Ralphie does end up getting his coveted Red Ryder BB gun for Christmas, but it was from his father. How did he know? He knows. He always knows. Speaking of the Red Rider BB gun, Ralphie is speaking of the Red Rider BB gun. In fact, he speaks of the Red Rider BB gun a total of 28 times. Since Ralphie, as a kid of course, only has 93 lines in the entire film, that means on average, Ralphie says Red Rider BB gun every third line. A crummy commercial? Number two, Jack Nicholson. Here's Johnny. Yes, that Jack Nicholson was originally approached to play the part of the old man, aka Ralphie's dad. But his fee was way too high. In fact, it would have doubled the budget of the film if they would have cast him in the role. But director Bob Clark said that Darren McGavin, the guy who eventually did end up playing the role, was the better choice. And I have to say, he is totally right. That guy is Ralphie's dad. In fact, anytime I ever see him in another movie, I can't get past it. Number three. Man, this movie is so full of iconic scenes, I could list all of them, but two of my favorites are the Chinese restaurant and the part where Flick gets his tongue stuck on the pole. Fun fact because that's what this show is all about. The two songs the Chinese restaurant staff try to sing are the same songs that you hear at the beginning of the film. Also, apparently Flick didn't actually get his tongue stuck on that pole. They had a straw in a hole and then they had suction. And so whenever he stuck his tongue there, it stuck his tongue. And that's how they made it seem like his tongue was stuck. Number four, the film A Christmas Story was actually based on a collection of short stories by Gene Shepard called In God We Trust, All Others Pay Cash. Now I've always wondered, and it's kind of unclear exactly which year the film takes place. Now there are a few clues. For example, we know that it takes place before 1942 because we see a radio flyer wagon in the window. And 1942 was the year that radio flyers stopped production so the metal could be used for the war effort. Well, a few Wizard of Oz references, which came out in 1939. Also during the first dinner sequence, we see a calendar on the wall, which shows that December 1st is on a Friday, which would have happened in 1939. And the issue of Boy's Life that Ralphie's looking at is also from 1939. However, the issue of Look Magazine is from 1937. Also, did he have two of those magazines? I mean, we clearly see him put the one magazine inside the other magazine, but then here it is on the bed. However, the reference to the football game between the Green Bay Packers and Chicago Bears happened in 1941. The game, it's from May 1941. I know because I was there. But to be honest, none of this really matters. My theory is that a lot of evidence seems to suggest that this film plays more as a memory of an older man looking back at his childhood, in that he's unable to decipher which events happened during which year, but more focuses on the significance of that event for him at the time. We see Ralphie's dad whenever he's at his angriest, in very emotional moments for Ralphie, but yet clearly this man is a very compassionate, caring person because he's the one who knows exactly what his son wants for Christmas. And this film, I think, depicts it perfectly, which is why it's one of my favorite films. I know that's not a fact, it's just something cool that I've thought about. So let's move on to number five. The main character, Ralphie, 12 years old at the time, was played by Peter Billingsley. While Billingsley would continue to act, he would also build a lofty career behind the scenes, directing, producing, and writing. And you may have seen him and didn't realize it. He has a small cameo in another Christmas favorite, Elf. You may have also seen a cameo of him in a little film known as Iron Man. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not Tony Stark. He also served as one of the producers for Iron Man. I loved you in A Christmas Story, by the way. Thanks so much for joining me for this episode of Movie Facts. Hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year because I'm not going to be back doing another Movie Facts until after the new year starts because I'm going to go on vacation, kind of. If you like this Christmas Movie Facts episode, then you might like my Christmas movie review of Kirk Cameron's film, Saving Christmas, on my other channel, youtube.com slash saygoodnightkevin. Some people have even said that they like the review more than the movie, if you can believe it. I'll see you guys next year when I'm going to be bringing you all kinds of cool facts about all kinds of cool movies. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Until then, I'm Kevin, and those are the facts.